hey friends let's quickly get the value of x welcome to jj online maths class and today let's quickly get to the point uh quickly get to the business of the day all right <laughs> okay so this is the question uh let's simplify this to do that seven multiplied by seven we give us 49 and x multiplied by x we give us x squared is equal to x divided by seven so what we are going to do is to cross multiply if we do that x to the power of 2 times x we give us what x to the power of 3 is equal to 49 times 7 7 times 9 we give us 63 so we we'll write 3 and carry 6 7 times 4 is 28 28 plus 6 should be 34 right so that means we have 3 4 3 here Okay, so we have that x to the power of 3 minus 3, 4, 3 is equal to 0. Okay, so we have that x to the power of 3 minus this same thing as 7 to the power of 3 is equal to 0. Perfect. Now we have an identity. And this identity states that a to the power of 3 minus b to the power of 3 is equal to a minus b multiplied by a squared plus a b plus b squared okay now in this case our a is x and our b is 7 so let's quickly substitute so what we have is what a is x and b is 7 so it's going to be x minus 7 multiplied by x squared plus a b that is seven times x which is seven x plus b squared that is seven squared which is 49 is equal to zero okay so we continue now we have when you have two brackets and they are equated to be zero okay it simply means that either of the brackets is zero so it's either x minus seven is equal to zero x minus seven is equal to zero or x squared plus 7x plus 49 is equal to 0. Now let's get and let's try to solve this then. So when you look at this, we can easily get x to be equal to, this we transfer to this side to become plus 7. And this is our x1. Now let's solve this quadratic equation. To solve this, we are going to make use of quadratic equation formula which states that our uh, x is equal to uh, minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac divided by 2a, okay? All right. Now, we have that x is equal to, here, our a, our a here is equal to the coefficient of x squared, which is 1. Our b is the coefficient of x, which is 7. Our c is our constant, which is 49. All right? So that means that x is equal to minus 7 plus or minus the square root of 7 squared, right? Minus 4 multiplied by a, which is 1, multiplied by 49, which is c. Everything divided by 2a. Okay. So we continue. That means that x is equal to minus 7 plus or minus the square root of 7 squared is 49 minus 4 times 49. Let's go ahead and do that. Okay. Now 9 times 4 is 36. We are going to write 6 and carry 3. 4 times 4 is 16. 16 plus 3 is 19. So we have 196. 196 divided by 2 because a is what 1 all right so our x is equal to minus 7 plus or minus the square root of now 49 minus 196 minus 49 in the negative form now 16 minus 9 should give us 7 right and um 8 minus 4 we give us 4 and we bring down 1 so it's going to be minus 147 divided by 2. 
Okay, if you have watched to this point, this simply means that you are enjoying what I'm doing. So please subscribe if this is the first time you are tuning in and on your notification bell so that you'll be notified anytime I upload a new video. I upload two videos daily, so I kindly request that you tune in each time to check what's new, okay? All right, so this is what we have, that our x is equal to minus 7 plus or minus now this is 1 4 7 right so square root of now 1 4 7 let's break it down if we break it down the smallest factor of this is 3 apart from 1 when 14 is divided by 3 we will have 4 4 remainder 2 when 27 is divided by 3 we have 9 so to break this down it's supposed to be 49 times 3 right so we have square root of 49 times 3 multiplied by square root of minus 1 because we have negative 1 here. Okay. All right. Now divided by 2. So we have that x is equal to minus 7 plus or minus. So what we have here is square root of 49 multiplied by square root of 3 multiplied by square root of minus 1. Everything divided by 2. Hope you are enjoying this ride. So our x is minus 7 plus or minus. Now, square root of 49 is um, 7, right? <laughs> see, see how I'm thinking square root of 49, gosh. So square root of 49 is 7. So we have 7 root 3, right? I, because square root of minus 1 is I, divided by 2. All right. Now, our x2 then should be minus 7 plus 7 root 3i divided by 2. And the third value of x should be minus 7 minus 7 root 3i divided by 2. Thank you so much for watching and have a beautiful day.